I'm telling you right now, every time I do my eyeliner and I get to this point where it's only the outline, I always want to leave it. And then finish it up, like do my mascara, put on my lipstick. I don't know, it's like kind of cute. So a random show that I have been really enjoying lately. Welcome to the most epic game show. This is The Floor. 81 players will go head to head in a trivia duel. You can run. Whoa! But you can't hide. The winner You've done it. takes control of their opponent's floor. So the more floor you conquer, the more of a target you become. Rob Lowe hosts The Floor. I really like game shows, if you guys don't know that about me. I feel like some of the newer ones, though, are like so cheesy and I just cannot get into it. So if you guys like game shows and you like trivia type style, definitely watch it. Okay, you guys, I'm about to organize my wax melts. One eternity later. But a lot of these have just like a few in there. I can use up those over like the full ones. Okay, so these are all the ones that are partially opened. And then these are the ones that aren't opened at all. The next day. Okay, you guys, so it is January 25th. I have not done a weigh-in since I last did one for you guys. I eat really bad when I'm depressed. I just like stop caring. And I remember I was 513.8. So ever since that has happened, I haven't been able to find my footing. So the first step to doing that is stepping on the scale. Hello, it's ready. 510.4 pounds. 510.4. It just goes to show that like, since I've been out of that like depression, I have not been eating as bad as I was. Y'all, I genuinely do not know what this vlog is. There's no rhyme or reason. Right now, I'm currently just trying to find something to wear. I'm just so glad it's no longer snowing and icy. That was like miserable. So let me choose something to wear. I will be right back. One pair of pants later. Okay, I found something to wear. Do you guys remember where I wore a dress that was similar to this? Where it had this chest piece and I thought it was supposed to go in the front, but it was actually backwards. Because everything I've been getting lately, the beautiful chest piece is in the front, but this is actually the back. Well, let's do this. So here is the dress that I had on. Again, size six. So I really like it. I like the material. I like how it fits down here. But something that I haven't yet had a problem with is up here is very tight. And yes, we have a chest piece. Well, don't worry. This is actually the right way. Anyways, outfit of the day. I don't know, I feel like it looks better in person. <laughs> you know what makes me sad? There's like little stains. I'm not happy about that, but you know, it's fine. Two hours later. Y'all, I'm literally obsessed with these slippers. And I'm gonna surprise my mom and get her a pair and we're gonna be matching. So the only book I've read so far in 2024 is November 9th by Colleen Hoover. I give this a three out of five stars. Um, this one was okay. There was definitely a shocking twist at the end though, I will say that. Okay, I know I'm not the only one who orders something and forgets what it is. Do you guys remember when I stabbed myself with a knife and had to get stitches? I remember. Which, here is a, the scar right there. I just got done crying. I stabbed myself. And I went to take out the seed with a knife and the knife slipped on the seed and went directly into my hand. But I was opening an avocado, you guys know that stupid circle that's in an avocado. What I did, but somehow I went I literally stabbed myself and I was gushing blood. Like I can't even explain it. When you open it, you see the flesh. I've never in my life done something like this. We have this. to go to Walmart and get her some but I need to gauze eat first. and hand wrap it. But I need to gauze eat first. and hand wrap it. Like, she wants to eat first. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. I just cleaned my bathroom mat because it's a white one. But I actually got a new bathroom mat. But I also got some sheets, but I'm really confused why they're packaged like this so this might be weird but <laughs> i got sheets for the couch because i do have two friends <laughs> very dear dear friends to me <laughs> um they're actually coming to visit me are you serious ridiculous you have no friends and i don't have an extra room i don't have an extra bed so they're gonna have to sleep on the couch <laughs> these this actually isn't the sheets at all um i thought it was <laughs> So I was gonna put a sheet down when they're sleeping. Do people do that? I don't know. I forgot that I also ordered gray washcloths. Wow, these are soft and nice. Why did I think that this was the sheets? So where are the sheets? Because they ain't in this box. Plus on here, it says the word luxury. I literally thought there were luxury sheets, but my friends aren't actually coming for like another week. But the fact that they're coming to visit me 
Oh my god. They obviously need more money. <laughs> we have all been through so much. They have literally seen me at my worst. And I just never imagined that they would like come visit me. Okay, let's go get my bathroom mat. So this is the one I have now, which is white. That's the one that I've always had. But the new one, the new. Yes. All right, I'm gonna put this one down. Oh, I'm obsessed. It says get naked because I do have two friends. Um, they're actually coming to visit me. It's like, she wants like, <laughs> I don't know how to word it. She's Polly. That I'm ready for the D. <laughs> Did you just announce that wifey and you were gonna have a threesome with a dude? <laughs> I think it's so freaking adorable. I love it. Yep. The following day. Okay, you guys, so it's about that time where I get my nails done. They've grown out so much. So here is before. Here is my after. Look at that pretty pink. Big! Claws. Oh, don't mind the siren. I hope everyone's okay. Okay, you guys, so I got another package from Amazon today. Okay, so it looks like my sheets came. And then over here are these slippers for me and my mom. We have matching ones. Guys, this has got to be the funniest clip I've seen on YouTube in a long time. Fuck wrong with you, boy. Always calling me out online. That don't mean that you're gay, Raven, I don't. My. And if you know, you know, then you know, you know. We'll make that money, money, money. That money, money, money. Cause you know but this, <laughs> I just got done laughing for a good solid 10 minutes. So thank you. That was funny. That was good stuff. You know what it is. It tucker be me. We'll make that money, money, money. No one said I'm ripped. I'm, a fat I'm out of here. I'm out of here. 24 hours later. All right, sweeties, you have to get off the bed. Mama's cleaning the bedding today. Y'all, it might be time that I clean my mirror. Just saying. Y'all, it happened. I'm now sporting the black pair. I love these. They're so cute and comfy. So I just tried this Starbucks Frappuccino. This is not worth 300 calories, and this was almost $5. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just got home and someone sent me a picture of someone seeing me at the laundromat. You are exposed, sir. I'm gonna expose you. Expose you. Oh my god, expose you. I'm like taking a picture and posting it online. So I get recognized a lot in public. But there was this one guy in particular who was like wanting to buy me drinks and he was like following me around everywhere. He couldn't stop hugging me. He even gave me $20. But I really think since so many other channels also talk about me that I'm recognized from also other channels. I don't know what it is. Long story short, I made quite a few friends, got some numbers. She belongs to the streets. Um, so yeah, it's just something that happens. And something that also happens is like people taking photos with me or of me without my knowledge. Maybe a minute later, my mom goes, oh my God, those other two guys were just looking at you. And I was like, mom, it's okay. And she was like, they called you mommy, it's fine. Saying that fat people have sex better. <laughs> I'm a fat person. And it doesn't bother me as long as it's not like a stalker situation. Like if you see me in public and you're too shy to come up to me, but you all, you want to take a photo of me, I really don't care. It's because of some of the people watching me. Um, it gets IRL in real life. Um, people harass and stalk and do crazy mean things. And it's vicious and I love the people in my life and I don't want them to be hurt. But it's always the people who take a photo of me without coming up to me. Those are the ones that are always like the haters, I think. But, like, I don't know who posts it. I don't care who posted it. But a lot of people are seeing it and people are like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize Amberlynn was this big. You guys, I've been telling you from the jump that I am over 500 pounds. I have shown my body multiple times on camera, hundreds of times on camera. I am big. But y'all, seeing that photo was also like... Ugh. It was kind of hard for me to see and it's like while I'm sitting there like I know that I'm bigger So I think this is one of them situations where it's like I'm glad I saw this photo because it kind of lights a fire under me because it's like I don't want to like look like that anymore and to see and hear like all the fat shaming around that photo is just like I don't know it hurts Lee really? is that like society? Like is that humanity like is that really how we're gonna be like as adults and stuff? Yes! 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 Like I just feel like we're better than that. Yes! Y'all, I'm actually getting ready to go take a shower and then get in bed, but I sent my mom that picture. 
and she was like why do you look so sad because i'm like happy and i was feeling happy so then i started thinking i don't have resting bitch face I have resting sad face when I'm not even sad. I do want to say for this week, I am going to do like a different type of schedule and just see how it works for me. And then Wednesday, I think I'm going to do like a Wednesday weigh in. And then Friday, like a what I ate today type deal type situation. It's Monday for you guys. It's like a weekly vlog. I don't know. I'm just trying to see what I like, what I want, what I want to do. Anyways, I'm going to go though. I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I get lost sometimes and I can't seem to find a light between the walls I built for myself right in my mind